Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm so excited to do because I'm going to be spotlighting five different YouTube channels that I think that you should be watching. So I'm calling this five under 5k, but it's kind of like ish. <laughs> I've had this video idea on my list for a while. I've had the channels picked out that I was going to talk about for a while, but some of them have recently surpassed the 5k mark, which is super exciting. Uh, but I still wanted to go with kind of my original idea uh, and the channels that I had uh, marked down to recommend. So just wanted to, to say that, but I'm really Really excited to spotlight these channels. They're channels that I love to watch their videos. I highly recommend that you do if you are not yet watching them. So why don't we go ahead and get started. Alrighty, one thing that I forgot to say too is that I did recently do an 8 under 8k video. If you didn't see that one, I'll go ahead and list it down below. That was from a couple months back. Same concept, just spotlighting 8 different YouTube channels uh, around or under the 8,000 mark. Uh, also, if you guys would want to see just kind of like a big roundup video of the different channels I've watched, it's probably been about a year since I've done a video like that. Um, um, where it's not anything like the eight under, five under, anything like that, just kind of a big roundup of all the different channels that I watch. If you'd wanna see that one, please do let me know and I could get it on my list to do in the next couple months here because I love YouTube, I watch so many different channels, um, so I, I just, that would probably be a, a bigger video if you guys wanna see that one, but just let me know if you do. But the first channel that I wanna talk about is Sarah Hubbler or The Beauty Hub. Uh, the time that I was making this list, I am pre-filming a bit because I am recently on a Vegas vacation, but at the time that I'm filming, she has around 2,300 subscribers. I am not really sure how exactly it was I found her channel. It might have been just that she left a comment on my video. Um, and a lot of times if I can tell someone has a channel, you know, I can kind of tell by, um, you know, the thumbnail pick or sometimes with my YouTube, it'll tell me next to someone's channel how many subscribers that they have. So I just know that they have a channel. It doesn't do it with everyone though because I know some people who have a YouTube channel and that doesn't pop up next to the comments. So I don't, I don't really know how YouTube picks how to do that feature. But I want to say that's how I found her channel. And her thumbnails really interested me and so I started watching a couple of her videos and I just immediately got sucked into them. She did such an amazing series going over a bunch of different, I think it was mostly focused on drugstore releases, but like entire roundup videos of like new collections, the spring collection of this brand and that brand and talking about each and every product in there, the price of them, um, you know, what they were supposed to do, etc. She would purchase a lot of the products herself and be able to review them in the videos and I was just like, whoa. I can't believe how much work she had to put into those videos. Um, they were so good. She just, she speaks really well on camera. She does a great declutter series as well. I've been watching her declutters recently as well. Um, so she is just someone who I think puts a lot of hard work and dedication into her videos. Her videos are great quality uh, and she just has some really good series over there. She's also recently started doing the Will I Buy It series. I believe she calls these her coffee chats. Uh, so that um, is definitely a series that I would recommend to watch as well. But Sarah Hubler is the first channel that I wanted to shout out. I did also want to say that I started recently the community playlist for the Will I Buy It series. So I started the Will I Buy It series about two years ago, just over two years ago now, uh, where I was talking about new makeup releases, just my thoughts on them, if I was planning to purchase them or not. And recently, <laughs> it seems like that idea has kind of caught on within the past few months here and more and more creators were starting to do them and I was watching them and then I decided to make a playlist and um, you know be able to have anyone who does that style of video be able to add their videos to that playlist so Sarah's coffee chats are on there also um, but if you want even more like new creators to watch I found a ton of new channels that way so I will have the community will I buy it listed down below if you like that style of video I mean it's literally just a playlist for that style of videos and I mean there's creators over there from very small to very large um, and I'm just so appreciative to everyone who's wanted to contribute to the playlist and everyone who's been watching it so if you want even more channel recommendations check out that playlist down below uh, but the next channel that I want to talk about is my friend Katie Katie Marie from my vanity I did mention her in my 8 under 8k as well and I was trying to do different channels but Katie's been one of my friends for the longest time uh, I, I was friends with her before she even had her YouTube channel and I just really wanted to give her a special mention again as well because at the time that I'm filming she has about 4,800 subscribers and I would absolutely love to see her surpass the 5k mark. Uh, but like I said, she's been my friend for a very long time. She has a great blog. Um, she has a great newsletter that she sends out that I would suggest signing up for. Um, she has a great Instagram, and now she has a fabulous YouTube channel. And another reason I really wanted to mention Katie again is because I feel like out of probably out of everyone I'm mentioning, I feel like we have the most similar style 
of YouTube channel. We do a lot of the same, you know, same or similar style videos. So I just think that if you really do like my channel, you enjoy the videos that I put out and the content that I have over here, I really do think that you would like Katie's channel as well and enjoy her videos. Um, she does the makeup monthly lit that I do at the end of the month where she just kind of puts everything into a, a review style video, whether she really liked something, she didn't like something, she thought something was okay. She just kind of goes through everything that she was using up or trying out and gives her thoughts on them. She does the Shop My Stash style videos. She has some great dupe videos over there. She has really beautiful makeup looks over there also. Um, she does great reviews too. So I just, I would highly recommend her channel if you haven't yet checked her out. And again, I would say that Katie is such a hard worker. I know that she has two young children and she still gets videos up really, really consistently, which I just think is amazing. So big kudos to Katie and her channel. Of course, all these channels will be linked down below. Okay, so the next gal that I wanna talk about is Lacey from spooky lips and fat hips at the time that I'm filming she has just under 5200 subscribers I feel like her channel has been growing so much I feel like I started watching her maybe around like 2000 or something like that or maybe even a little bit under um and I feel like that wasn't even that long ago so I was so surprised because I've had her on my list to chat about and today as I was filming I was writing down all the numbers I was like how in the what this is amazing like that's freaking awesome so if you haven't yet checked her channel i definitely suggest you do i believe that i found her through a recommendation of georgia harris um I, she does a podcast with Lacey as well and i think I, I think that she just like mentioned her in a video once so i started watching her her videos and i really like watching her channel because i just feel like she's very like personable and very relatable we have very different like styles when it comes to makeup and our purchases and all of that um but just because people have different styles or whatnot doesn't mean that a you can't get along with someone or be their friend um or you can't enjoy their content because i definitely do she has a lot of really interesting chats over there i feel like there was a point in time where i was commenting on her videos and i was like i feel like i just keep saying the same thing like you have such interesting chats like you have really interesting discussions and topics that you put on your channel. I was like, have I been saying the same comment over and over? But that's how I truly feel. Like, like those are my thoughts and that's kind of the first thing that pops in my head when I'm watching her videos and listening to her is you have interesting topics that you have over here. So I thought that was funny, kind of funny. I kind of caught myself doing that at one point, but uh, I definitely would recommend heading over to her channel, checking her out. And then the next one that I want to chat about, who's next on my list is like really far away. Like good thing I got that lace going on because otherwise I probably won't be able to read it. But the next channel that I want to talk about is Jenna, Jenna Freeze, I believe is how you say her name. I think I once again just found her because of her commenting on my videos. I always suggest commenting on other videos and it's one thing that I try to make sure I do with every single video that I watch. I try to leave some sort of comment. If I don't have anything super insightful to say that day, <laughs> uh, I'll just try to leave some sort of like, your makeup looks nice, I like your nail color, you know, I don't know, something, anything. Because I really like to let other creators know that I'm watching their videos and I'm trying to support them. I'm trying to support them with my view. I think that that's really important. Uh, but it's also a really good way to find other people, to find other creators. And a lot of the friendships that I've made through YouTube have come because I've realized people are watching my videos. And I not only watching them they're taking you know five seconds out of their day to type a comment to me it means a lot it really honestly does um and and i just i feel like i sometimes hear people say like oh i watch your channel i'm like i've literally never seen your name <laughs> come up like what 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 what, what? <laughs> so that's just something that i try to do is always leave leave a comment on any video that i watch and mostly just to say like hey i'm watching you i think you're doing great like keep doing your thing you know so i really think that's how i found Jenna's channel and once I started watching her and her reviews I was like yes girl <laughs> like, this is the girl I want to watch she does do like her channel is mostly focused on like luxury high-end makeup so if that's kind of like your thing that's your sweet spot when it comes to makeup I would definitely recommend checking her out she does a lot of reviews and especially on like newer products she's always got like the newest thing out there and she is reviewing it right away she has some fantastic hauls uh, but once again I just feel like she's very personable I felt like I immediately got a connection with her and I immediately got on with her 
we've actually had several conversations over like private messaging and things like that and um, I, I've just kind of gotten to know her more that way too and she's just someone who I very, very highly could see as my friend um, like in real life. Like if I were to meet her, I just think that we would get on fantastically well. I just kind of have that vibe immediately. So I definitely recommend checking out Gemma's channel. And then the final one that I want to, to chat about is probably the channel that is the newest to me. And this is Lauren from the Honest Beauty Review. At time of filming, she has uh, just over 5,700 subscribers, I believe it is. Uh, once again, I want to say I found her because she was commenting on my videos um, and she also as has added to the will I buy it playlist as well so once again I think that playlist is is really important I honestly found so many people that way um, people that I didn't even know were doing you know kind of like a spin-off to this series and I honestly thought I was watching a lot of people that have been doing that kind of series but um, there was a lot more that messaged me to contribute to the playlist if you do a video like that and you want to contribute to the playlist just let me know I just have to send you over a link so you have access to be able to add your videos uh, but once I start watching her again I feel like thumbnails are really important for youtubers there's something they're they're a part of my channel that I don't feel like I do well enough at because I don't I'm not super uh, artistically creative and that stems also into making thumbnails I feel like my thumbnails usually are pretty much the same uh, but I also try really hard not to make clickbait thumbnails and I feel like sometimes that hinders me but like I I really try not to do that so my thumbnails probably need some work but her thumbnails drew me in and again she just has really good topics over there hauls and reviews but again I feel like I'm saying a lot for each of the same girls but it's what I look for in YouTube channels that I want to watch it's just someone that I feel like I can relate to someone who when I'm watching their videos it's like I'm sitting there with them just listening to my friend chat about makeup that's what I look for a lot that's what I want to see in someone's uh, videos and that's what I hope people see in my videos that's one of the highest compliments I get um, more than like my makeup looks good or you know things like that when people tell me that they feel like I'm a friend, that they feel like they're just sitting here listening to a friend talk about makeup, that's a really, really high compliment to me and that makes me feel really amazing. So uh, I definitely feel that way about her channel. Do Again, I feel like everyone that I'm talking about, you can definitely tell that they put a lot of hard work into their channel, that they put a lot of time and energy uh, and they just have a real you know, passion for what they do. They enjoy doing what they're doing and I definitely get that from Lauren's channel. So make sure you go check her out as well. But after that, those are my five channels under 5K that I think that you should be watching. All right guys, so that is gonna wrap it up for today's video. I will have all five ladies linked in my description box down below. I hope that you will go over and check them out, watch some of their videos, subscribe, let them know that I sent you and all of that fun stuff. I would also like to say if you guys have a channel, you know, maybe list it uh, down in the comments down below. Maybe let people know, you know, what are some videos that you consistently do? You know, maybe kind of what is your channel known for or what are some of your favorite videos to put out, things like that. I know usually it's kind of like frowned upon to do the whole like, hey, I have a channel in the comments, but uh, you know, in a video like this, I encourage it because kind of the point of this video is to, you know, help other channels be found. And YouTube is such a huge space, especially in the beauty community. There's so many different channels uh, and there's so many wonderful people out there. I know that there's like weirdness happening right now, but honestly, I can't focus on that because there's so many amazing people and channels out there that I just want to make sure my attention is being focused on that and continually bringing other people up and just continuing to, again, sub sub to support with my views and show people and hopefully try to help people um, grow who really enjoy doing this. So I don't know, that's kind of my thoughts. That's kind of my thoughts on that. But um, so I would encourage you if you do have a channel, you know, maybe just don't say just like, hey, come subscribe to me, but a, just a line about you or the videos you like to do or what you post consistently. Maybe if you're not a YouTuber, but if you have someone that you really love, um, and don't worry about numbers for this one, you know, just recommend some of your, your favorite channels or a channel that you watch, you know, every single day you get excited for when they upload a video. Leave it in the comments down below. Let's spread some love. Let's spread some positivity. Let's spread some people lifting each other up. That's what I would love to see in this video and in the comment section. So other than that, though, that's going to do it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy it, if you want to see more of these, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. I hope that you'll also consider subscribing before you go, and I'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.